Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here and welcome to The Convenience Store, a horror game about the horrors of working in customer service. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Oh boy. Uh, chinchilla? Hmm. I guess we work the, uh, the night shift, which is the... the best shift to be working in customer service, I imagine. Sure. Woman up on Bento. Yep. I guess this could be a uh, literal warm up as we actually have to wait. The usual two minutes, you warm something up. This game takes itself very serious, very accurate. Okay, I've ate my bento. I've changed. Let's go to work. Kind of a comfy place, if anything. I mean, it's kind of foggy and spooky, you know, I got that, that sound hill thing going, but... That's a safety hazard. But it's... It's kind of comfy. It's like, you know, like walking in your hometown at night. I'm sure that'll change later, but for the time being, not bad. Unusually quiet, though. That'd be the only thing. This part's a little unusually open, though. It's like, hey, it would look a nice little town that suddenly crossed the threshold. How you doing, buddy? I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. A name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Yeah. God, it's so bright in here. Oh my god. It's like reflection hell. How you doing? Oh god. Oh god, you made it. Hmm? Oh no, it's just I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha. Huh. Sorry. Yeah, you're not getting off work that easy. Sankyu's choice. Hey, I'll give it a try. So before I do anything, I'm gonna scout out the store a little bit. Get a feel for it. Anime! Well, it's cleanest bathroom. Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. 
on the convincing. Much better than your average convenience store bathroom. Robbie Carrot Juice. I've been drinking only that recently. Highly recommended. Benton. Back room. This is where you need to go if you want to take like a quick smoke break, but not actually go outside. Back of the store. Loops around. This is where you want to go when you want to take an actual smoke break and not be inside. Hey. What? Hmm. That's kind of worrisome. Close the doors behind me so no one steals anything. Oh yeah, I got punch in. Hold up. I think some food expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. So one in the back. These watch aisles for shoplifting. Okay. It's gonna basically just be Freddy. But instead of um watching for killing a uh, killer animatronics, you're gonna watch for uh, shoplifting. Rude customers. Just general boredom. You have a good day, manager. Youch, turn off your high beams. Pulling in the parking lot, not driving down a forest. Shelf looks fine. Looks like something expired. Can I give the homeless guy expired food? How you doing? I'm throwing out expired stuff, don't mind me. Just help yourself to the, the shelves. There you go. You have a good day. I mean, at least it didn't go to waste. Oh god, he's looking at the place with expired food. Shelf looks fine. 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 Expired. Excuse me. Gotta throw some things out in the trash. Excuse me, sir? Are you still... Oh god, he's going to check out. He's gonna complain if I'm not there. Oh, so what do you got here, sir? Bento. Very good choice. You have a good day. Anything else expired here? Huh. I had to like drive off and arrive. I really buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Well, I guess it's all good and we just get behind the counter and uh Hate ourselves. Oh, Galo is a Kai over here. Nice. Did 
Can one van just leave? Hey. Someone here? Just a bug, I guess. Keeps opening and closing. Hmm. Oh, someone's coming, the bear. Look busy. Looks like it's a truck. God. Turn on your beams. Put on your parking lights. Yep. <laughs> hey, doing? It's kind of late for delivery men at this time, huh? We recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to the store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Random. Sure, I'll take this mysterious package home. Did I turn on the microwave? Maybe, maybe I did before, like, the, the flash thing started. Huh. Do I have an option to, like, not watch the video? Huh. This is nothing to do with the taped-off area behind the store, does it? Oh, uh, that... uh, there's no bento in there whatsoever. What are these lies? Maybe I eat it off screen. I'm, I'm just that hungry. First night. And what was the previous night? The prologue night? Unless it meant the first night had passed. Oh yeah, I gotta go all the way down to that one. A lot darker tonight, despite being inherently less foggy. I may, well, maybe the, the beginning took place during the day, and it was just overcast. So it looked like it was at night, but it wasn't. So now it's the, the first night. But then why would we leave the store and come back and, like, play the tape? And no. Most likely it was just brighter for some reason. Maybe it was a moon out. Boy, this really is a lot darker. Feels so kind of, kind of symbolic. It's kind of a nice shot right there. It's kind of like everything's just pitch black, and then it's just. The convenience store stands alone as this monolith. Hello. Hey, hey. So I heard you report that doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wares were loose. Oh, he found some sort of poltergeist. I see this on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. Ha, ha, ha.
Because I'm clocking in. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person sees no one has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. Didn't the manager technically see the note first? Because, you know, they wrote it. <laughs> Rat be gone. <laughs> oh god, rats. I'll take you rats out. No one makes a mess of my convenience store bins. I got one more rat left. Where are you, buddy? You be hiding in here? Hello. Oh, someone's here. Hello? Customer? No, oh, it's a... Uh, it's an old lady. And she's, uh, she's just heading to the bathroom at a very steady pace. Good for you. God, she's gonna be in there forever. Well, I guess I'm just chilling here. Yep. Time to start that part where I start to hate myself and my life choices. For the next, uh, entire shift. Oh boy. I feel like at this rate I'm gonna pop my phone out and just start playing gacha games. Oh no, look, someone's coming. I think they're, they're pulling in anyway. God, what the hell was that parking? What are you trying to do? Some kind of a... Uh... Airplane no Did you use like triple park? What do you want, Johnny Bravo? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. What am I fetching things for you? The damn beer thing is right behind you. Come on, my store. Triple park. What are me around? Anime. Hey. That was me. We're also incapable of carrying more than one beer. We're a, uh... We're a very weak service worker. We're very weak of the soul, so we can't really carry more than one. Four... Exactly five beers. It's a very specific number. Can't just buy a pack. And you want some cigarettes. And let me check you out. Thank you for 
Okay, he's gone. Hope you never come back. God, what a dick. Oh, I see. You pulled out just fine and fast, but the parking, you need to do some, like, some 360 maneuver. Oh, an old lady finally came out. You okay? You kind of in there for a while. You kind of stopped. Huh? Where's Kenkun? You know what Kenkun is? I thought I heard his voice. This is my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? You didn't, uh, close the door behind yourself. Was this mess here before? Sounds about right. What's that noise? Toilet? Oh boy. Yep. It's gonna be the entire game. This could be us standing around, getting yelled at by people, and handing them things. Did the music stop? Hey! Kid. Hey, Brett. This car coming. Where'd you go? Yeah, that's right. Did you come back. You hear? Whippersnapper. Back to my mundane life. That distracted me for a total of five seconds. Late nine, huh? Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Huh. Was this here before? I think so. Enjoy your night. God, being a convenience store worker is so boring. Gods. Now what? How do I, how do I entertain myself? Start carrying cigarette packs. One, two, three, four. Six, seven. 
god. Oh, maybe let's just take a walk around the store. Let's get everything's in order. Hmm. Could use some more bento boxes over here. Second night. I guess the first night was a prologue night. Hey. I guess it's raining. So we're knocking on the door? Be like a new videotape every day? Hmm. Huh. Okay. He's feeling weird, are we in front of a house? Hey, where's the lights? It was just loading out. Well, you gotta go to work in the rain. Rain or shine. We make sure you're always pleased with our service. I like the umbrella effect, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's, let's get going. So we went from like a foggy night to a moonlit night. Well, black moon <laughs> lit night. Now it's a rainy night. We also need to have a night where it's just completely sweltering hot. Boy, if it was hard to see before, and it just got kind of harder. Oh boy. Man, it's really not letting up. But thank you, Lee, the, the model of the convenience store is there to comfort me. Nothing more comfortable than me Nile labor. I'm here, I'm here, I'm not late. Uh manager? Oh, I was assuming your match. You could just be a co-worker. Weird. No one in the front? Hey! What are you doing there? What are you doing in the locker? Got you good, huh? Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. What? Someone's been sending VHS tapes? That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Hmm. Probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. Oh, yeah. Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full, that's our model. See, I picked up on that. I picked up on that last night. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. Okay, what are we doing here? Are we restocking? Probably in the back. That's where they keep all the stuff. When the ain't talking, you'll pick, tickle me Elmo. It's always in the back. The back is a magical place where everything is there. Where things are plentiful and bountiful. Where do these even go? There. 
But everyone really wanted those specific red chips. Well, they're not chips, but... Okay. Give me some of these udon packs. Hey! Hey! Is someone trolling me? Hey, I hear you. I hear you out there. Unlock this. God, just be so much shoplifting. There, it's open. I heard the door open. Anyone here? Maybe in the bathroom. No. Someone's pulling over now. Excuse me, sir. I'll be just restocking in the back. Uh, feel free to peruse our products and not steal anything. Where are these items missing? Over here, maybe? Okay. Excuse me, sir. What did you need? I'm Amada. So, is something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Air conditioning bad? I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell. It's kind of like a video game. <laughs> Check the camera. Loop it around to the side. Hey! Hey, what? I saw like a little foot there. Hold up. Better check out back. Mana's going back there. Yeah, just check out the air conditioning. I'm gonna... Uh, gotta look, uh, what's going on here. Hey, there is actually a problem. What is this? It's locked. Was the old, old woman right? Was there a house here at one point? How's it going? You know, if you stare at it long enough, maybe it'll fix itself. Thinking about bronze tools or something. Anime. Hmm. Well, let's check out the camera. You can watch it from the safety of inside. Hamada? Did he just leave? I saw a car pull out. Maybe that was his. Well, there's a woman here. No. Hello. You, uh... You do your shopping. I'm gonna check to see if our... Air conditioning guys. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Maybe he just went around like get some tools. Or not, nah, he's left his tool. There's a key here. Interesting. Door is unlocked. However, my arm goes numb when I try to open it. Feels as though something is grabbing me. Huh. Can't open it. Weird and scary, and I'm out of here. 
Speaking of which, what happened to Hamada? He's on that side. Hello, ma'am. Sorry about that. Um, our air conditioner guy just disappeared. So I was checking out. Maybe he, like, fixed it. Oh, yeah. Here, no. Sorry about that. Here. Hey. Are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl in the midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Hell yeah, I'm taking that charm. <laughs> no, maybe he left, because his car is gone. Maybe he was just, like, looping around while we were, uh, going to the back. Hmm. It's weird, right? It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Hmm. I'm assuming that's what happened. Whatever, I guess. Yep. Just chillin'. Hmm. Not only much to do, huh? Just killing time. Well, take a little walk around, I guess. Again. Just make sure the store is alright. Um. Bathroom? Weird. The bathroom's a sacred. Hey! Damn kids. You get for being a service worker nowadays. No appreciation. No appreciation distorted. Hey! Oh, the manager's gonna be so pissed. Who's doing this? Is it a kid? I saw your little foot earlier. Hey, the computer! Oh! What? Pick up talismans? I'm picking up the talismans. Worked night shift, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Don't worry about anything, they said. It pays good. A total of nine fifty per hour. You may gotta seal up that building out there. Exercise the door. Hell yeah. What? Who? Co-worker? Manager. Oh, 
Mats and tapes. Four. Oh no. Maybe we're safer in here. Maybe that's why we went inside. Oh crap. I don't know. Why are you alive now? Leave me be. Dealing enough crap as is as a wagey. Third night. Yeah, I'm not going back into work. Screw that. You think I'm stupid? What night is this? This would be the third tape. Four. Four is the, the evil, like, bad luck number in Asia. It's the- no, it's the little building. Yeah, it's like blacked out. Save each chinchilla! What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? I make such poor life choices. Why is it they always the wages that die? Oh, it's the security guard and Freddy. Here it's the convenience store worker. Pick up someone who's like a dick. We just try to make an honest living. Just try to keep us down. All these ghosts and things are like... They gotta be like... I mean, they must have been like anti-union back when they were alive or something. <laughs> you damn convenience store workers got my order wrong for the last time. After that, I vowed to haunt all of you. Well, that makes sense. Man, I, I should just wait. Why do we keep coming to work here? We know the place is Han behind it. Well, no, we thought it was a dream. Yeah, no. Okay, you disappeared again. If you come out of the lockers again, I'm punching you. I don't care if that's abuse. You're getting punched. Your glasses are breaking. No, that was the manager though, was it? I don't know. Maybe it was a dream, maybe not. There's no note here either. No even way to punch out. Or punch in. Ah. Uh. Why am I working here again? Let's check out the CCT footage. <laughs> Evil child. There's a TV here. What is going on? It's a puzzle. Anime. 
I don't know, at least the bathroom's... The bathroom's cleaner than usual. What? God, even hot bathrooms in Japan are cleaner. God, we're locked in. So let's feel this out. Noise. 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 So it's five different TVs. Let's check on the CCT footage. Maybe this gives us a hint. Um. Can't even move him around anymore. He stops at him. He stopped at one there. So is this a little boy? Then I don't know. Because the old woman mentioned something about that. He stopped at one there. It's going to... Over here. He stops at one there. He looks kind of up. And then where do they stop here? So I think it's like they stop right there towards the front. Let me just double check if they stop in the same spot. They do. So, I think it's all the ones with a solo, solo thing. Is that for you or you? It's kind of hard to tell when you're over here. Then he looks over here. I think it's you, because you're solo. You look like they kind of look down. Then it's you or you? Okay, it looks like you look up. Yes, there may be one over here. I think it was the correct one because I hear weird music. Um, hi. Oh no, I didn't touch anyone. Wait, wait, what? Wait. Yeah, yeah, it's normal. Thank God, you better be an annoying customer. Not some spooky jump scare. Damn it. And I can't go behind the counter. No, I am bringing it home. <sighs> so I have a choice. I can either trash it. Ship it, put it in and watch it. I'll just ship it. Say not to someone else, sure. Are you sure? Go for it. Because if it looks like the ring, you know how it be. Don't watch the last videotape. Well, the ring, you don't watch any of the videotapes. I was sickened by the whole situation. 
I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had the rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clean up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forms talking about the location where the building was made. One comment on a strange form stood out to me. It said there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th. The man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back and said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured to her along with her child in her stomach. Yeah, she had nails on her. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work, and he had complained to several colleagues. And on the day of the incident, it said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the ear in it gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hosoi, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe. So it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hosoi said that there was an old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there after David's death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel as a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but for further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. When I looked at my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. And? Is that it? You better not jump scare me. Come at that climatic. Okay. Yeah, no, that's the ending. Credits. And thank you, the player. Because I gotta go for the other endings now.
Okay, so let's try watching the videotape this time. Which is a terrible idea, but you know, it's what we do. Is that my apartment? Uh, that's my chinchilla. Uh oh. It was me sleeping in the bed just like I am right now. Let me just say, never watch any spooky videotapes that come into the middle of your store at the night. I... I can't move. So, I think that's actually officially for this game. That is both endings. So, pretty cool. It is kind of a lazy game. In the sense, like, most of the game is just you standing around. And I think some people will be turned off by that. But, it sets up an atmosphere just from you standing around. Like, it really does feel like you're a convenience store worker. Um, and it has a very simple, straight to the point kind of horror story, I would say. So, it's a very simple game, it is a very linear kind of game, but it is effective for the kind of niche, atmospheric feeling it's going for, and I liked it for that reason. Uh, that, that's what I'll say about this game, you can't really do too much commentary about it. It is what it is, right? Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play the convenience store. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.